The University of South Carolina quarterback Ryan Holinsky is rehabbing after knee surgery last week. In addition to focusing on healing physically, he's going to be pouring his heart into his family's nonprofit, Holinsky's Hope, a foundation created in memory of his brother, Tyler. I sat down with Ryan's parents to talk about how they're trying to save lives by talking boldly about mental well-being after losing a son to suicide. A family photo on the beach. Ryan, Mom Kim, Dad Mark, Tyler, and Kelly. A lot of smiles, a lot of love, and a lot that was unknown. We had no idea that he was struggling, and we thought as a family, what can we do to stop something like this from happening? Darkness poured into the lives of the Helinski family January 16th of 2018. Tyler, Mark and Kim's middle child, had died by suicide. He was just a very sweet person, and the world lost a kind soul just way too soon. If you just knew him, sorry. Tyler was the quarterback at Washington State University, jersey number three. His younger brother, Ryan, quarterback for the University of South Carolina, often is seen holding up three fingers, to honor Tyler, the family started an outreach foundation called Helensky's Hope, an all-out effort to raise awareness about depression, eradicate the stigma, and fund programs that support student-athletes in their mental wellness. And people all over the nation are responding. And so I wake up in the morning, I go straight to the computer, I respond to emails, I write my thank you notes, and I think that's therapy for me too. But why did this happen? What was Tyler going through? He was changing a little bit. There was a little bit of sadness or disappointment that you could recognize it was so different from Tyler. But he was also a college athlete. He was a student. He was, you know, had his car towed. He was doing poorly in a class. You know, that, but you don't, you don't end your life because of those things. So he was sick at the end of the day. That's what we think. Mark and Kim had Tyler's brain sent to the Mayo Clinic. The brain tested positive for stage one of CTE, chronic traumatic encephalopathy. It's caused by repetitive head trauma. Football players are often the ones affected. We don't focus on CTE because we're not sure what part that played in Tyler's passing. But we do believe that he was struggling and struggling in silence. Dr. Katie Dahlberg is a Lexington Medical Center neurologist who practices at Southeastern Neurology and Memory Clinic. With depression, people are suffering from an imbalance of their neurotransmitters in their brain and then when you add in repeated head trauma and something like CTE, you're going to be developing abnormal proteins in the brain and the combination of those two could certainly heighten the depression that someone is suffering from. Through their speaking circuit, Mark and Kim have found the majority of the young people who died were not student athletes, so they expanded Helensky's hope to reach all young people. Young people from 18 to 25 uh, seemingly can be happy, content, have money, have friends, have something they're really passionate about, um, and still die by suicide. In fact, the part that always gets us is a lot of the people that talk about their kids that died just saw him last night, saw him last week. He was excited about tomorrow. It's real important to try to identify people who are suffering from depression early and get them the treatment that they need because unlike CTE where there is no treatment, there are lots and lots of treatments available for depression and that is something that can, can be treated and, and improved. Kim and Mark want students everywhere to know it's okay that you're struggling. Just reach out to someone, anyone, to let them know. You shouldn't keep how you're suffering inside. You should reach out to a doctor, a counselor, a family member, a friend, and share your struggles. A Tyler had not been diagnosed or treated for any disease, but through his suicide, the Helenskys understand he was suffering in silence. If you would like to be part of funding programs and providing help to many who are struggling, go to HelenskysHope.org. Oh, and your heart certainly goes out to the Helinski family. And Dondi, obviously that report is going to make such a big impact in people who are out there who think that there's nobody to go to. Mm -hmm. They're having these types of symptoms, but obviously there are tons of people and tons of resources. There are, and I so appreciate Mark and Kim being so candid and yeah. open and willing to help so many people as a result. You hate what they've gone through, yeah. but you're grateful they've taken this tragedy and they're trying to have others have triumph as a result. So Very we powerful. commend them for that. We'll be right back.